Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Bilas You Channel. And I hope you're doing great wherever you are. And guys, for today's video, I will share about the K1 visa steps or the next steps if our case is at NVC or at National Visa Center, I will discuss what are the next steps. But before that, if you are new here in my channel, please do subscribe and join us in our K1 visa journey. So let's get started. Disclaimer, this information based on my research only. And also, we are at DYI filers or do-it-yourself. Yes, that means no lawyer and no agency. My timeline, I will put in my description. Okay, so our status right now, still at NVC or at National Visa Center. Then the next status for that is in transit. Yeah, I take down a notes, guys. <laughs> Meaning, your case is on the way to the embassy or here in Philippines. It will be transferred to U.S. Embassy in Manila. Then once our case is in transit already, the petitioner will receive an email which is the eligibility letter. Yeah, this one the sample guys. And it's written there that our case is eligible to be scheduled for a visa interview yes and also the hard copy they will send to the beneficiary yeah this one the sample of eligibility letter hard copy then the next status ready meaning your case is already received and ready for interview at U.S. Embassy. Then after that, we must gather all the documents that we need in our medical and interview. Fill out and submit your DS-160. Yeah, here's the link. And also, all the links I will put in my description box below okay then pay your visa at RCBC yes here in Philippines we will pay our visa at RCBC bank the amount it's $265 then after the payment of the visa we must create our account at CGI Federal so we can set our interview appointment so here's the link and also I will put in my description box then after that we need to schedule for our medical. Here in Philippines, we must schedule our medical at St. Luke's Extension Clinic. And also, I will put the link in my description box below. And for now, the amount of the medical, 16200 25 pesos before we go to our interview 
we must finish our medical and it's past already as of now we are waiting for our case to be in transit and yeah i think this is a perfect time that we gathered our requirements our documents and also i have vlogs for what i prepare for my supporting documents because i'm a uh, late registered i will put the link in my description box below that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye for now take care and god bless us all bye bye